welcome back to High Low Lux, where luxury and style are attainable. Today I have Trends to Try 2022. This is just a roundup of all the trends I'm really excited about. Um, so the ones I picked are easily accessible. Um, you can find them at every price point and you can integrate them into your like current style or your day-to-day -day life without it feeling like unwearable, not realistic, stuff like that. So, okay, so the first trend we've talked about before, I'm pretty sure it was in my fall trends video, but I wanna talk about it again because it is going strong um, and it's coming out in so many variations. And that's gonna be platforms. I'll put a bunch of inspo on the screen. If I've worn any of these, I'll put that on the screen as well. But platforms are here to stay for a while. Platforms always go in and out of season. It's always a nod to like the 70s. Um, and they always fluctuate in and out of style and they are back in a very big way. Um, YSL came out with a pair and then Versace came out with like a Bratz dolls kind of pair and they just went crazy on the internet. Um, and recently Valentino has come out with a pair. Those are probably the most popular ones I see. There are a ton of dupes. All of these I will link below, kind of like the designer version and then any dupes I can find as well. Um, but I love this. For a person that loves comfort, <laughs> this is just right up my alley. And I feel like that's why they've come back in such a big way. Because during quarantine, we all were just like in lounge wear, sweatpants, tennis shoes, Uggs, whatever the case may be, dad sandals. And then trying to like go back out into the world, go to dinner, get dressed up, and just putting on regular heels, just like a stiletto heel, it's a lot. It's a lot. Um, I talked about this, I don't know what video it was, oh, I think it was my best purchases, but my YSL platforms saved my life in Vegas. Like we were walking all day, you know, just shopping and eating and just walking the strip. And then your feet are already tired, it's time to go out at night. I wore my YSL platforms every night. Like I think I brought like three or four pairs of heels only wore those. That was all my feet could handle. They give you the height, they give you the extra extra feel, um, but they're comfortable. So I love these and for spring and summer, you're gonna see lots of really pretty colors. Um, Versace is doing really pretty pinks, really pretty lilacs, lilacs is gonna be a huge color. Um, and then of course you can do like blacks or neutrals. I personally went with a black pair because I think that's gonna be what's more versatile in my wardrobe and give me the most longevity. I'm a neutrals girl at heart. I love a good pop of color sometimes. I have pop of color shoes. But with such a standout trend, like it's already a platform, which is already a lot. So for me, I know it needs to be somewhat toned down for me to get the most wear out of it. Next trend, oh, one of my favorites, is micro mania. Now the micro skirt, the mini skirt is back in a big way. On the runways, it was a lot of like, almost like Abercrombie Hollister vibes. If you know, you know, like those were like the thing for a while, <laughs> a few years ago, like in the early 2000s, little tiny Hollister skirts. Those are bad. Obviously you can do these in very wearable ways. I have always been a mini skirt kind of girl. I just think since I'm short, it, it just elongates my legs, makes me look taller. You guys know I love an A-line cut. I always talk about this. Um, so get what you're comfortable with, but just know, like sometimes mini skirts are in, sometimes maxi skirts are in. This season, the mini skirt is in, in a big way. You can do denim, you can do, um, I just bought a really pretty like faux croc one. So many options, so many colors, just find something that works in your wardrobe and then you can style it in a way that makes sense for you. I prefer, if I'm doing something short, I prefer a little more covered up. I talked about this with like just proportions and styling things that make me comfortable. I also love it with like an oversized blazer or a longer jacket, like if the skirt and the jacket are the same length, I love that. And I think it just gives you a little more coverage, but then from the front, you can still see the really cute mini skirt. This is great with tights and boots. As we finish up winter, you can also style it with like strappy sandals in the summer. Trend number two, mini skirts. <laughs> I give this one a 10 out of 10. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. I love it, so it's a 10, but I think this one may be a little harder to wear if you're just not a mini skirt kind of girl. You may wanna pass this one up. Um, but if you'd like to show your legs, I think there's a lot of different ways you can wear this. Um, and also keep in mind, like, if you're shorter, getting things hemmed. I have to do that all the time because sometimes certain brands, not cater, but they wanna make it as versatile as possible. So if there's a taller person and they want a mini skirt, they can't add length, right? So brands will usually make things longer to accommodate for taller people. And then if you're short, it's like coming down to your knees. So just get it hemmed. Like it's not, every, it can't be perfect for everybody's height. So get it hemmed, take it to a tailor, just get it brought up a few inches and then you can turn it into a mini skirt. Okay, moving on. This trend is going to be bold color combo. This I also feel like came out of just like quarantine and it's not going out. This year style fashion is all about 
fun, being as extra as possible, wearing those things that used to feel special occasion or like a little, like a bit much, maybe you'll save that for something. We're just wearing that stuff every day. We're wearing it just out and about <laughs> and we're getting the use out of our clothes. So I feel like that's where this bright color combo comes in. It's just about having fun, exuding joy, um, and just having fun with lots of different colors. Um, what helps with this, I'll pop it up on the screen, utilizing a color wheel, especially if you're someone like me who is not used to wearing a lot of color, not familiar with color combos and what colors work best together. The color wheel is your friend because you can kind of see what colors look best together. It'd be as simple as doing a print. So then the work is already done for you and the color combos are already in the print. So you can just wear that or like pairing a top and a bottom that are two bold print, two bold colors together can be a fun way to work in this trend. It can also be just some, something as simple as like shoes in a bag that are two different color combos and just work well together, but it just brings a lot of fun to your wardrobe. And I think this will be a really big trend going into like spring, summer. That's already when we tend to wear more color but I feel like we're gonna be working with a lot more color combinations. So I feel like I said color combinations a lot of times, <laughs> uh, but hopefully that makes sense with what I put up on the screen. Again, always start with something you're most comfortable with. So maybe the, you know, look in your wardrobe, see the color you wear the most, look on that color wheel, figure out the color that pairs well with that and make an outfit out of that and see how you feel. Next up, maybe my favorite. I, I feel like I'm saying they're all my favorites, but this one I'm wearing and it's gonna be glitz and glam. Hello. <laughs> this one is all about sparkles, which was a trend in 2021 and it's going harder in 2022. It is, we're, we're getting more. It's all, it, it's New Year's Eve on steroids year round. That's basically what this trend is. Again, we're not saving things for special occasions. We're not waiting till it's our birthday. Every time I wear this headband, if I'm out and about, someone asks me if it's my birthday. No, it is not. It's just a beautiful day to be alive. And here we are and I'm just, Shining bright like the diamond that I feel like. <laughs> that is this trend in a nutshell. You can do it big, you can do it small. Like in my mind, this is a fairly small way to do glitz and glam, but it still stands out when I'm in the real world. Um, there are so many options, so many dupes. I feel like Prada really just made this a lifestyle. I think every item of clothing they come out with, they do a bedazzled, sparkly, glitzy glam version. They have skirts pants, dresses, like everything they do, they're like, okay, now let's add sparkles. So lots of different price points you can find this in. But again, it's just a way to feel special, make every day special, make every event, any occasion. And my favorite thing to do is make extra things like everyday wear. I just, that's like if I could describe my style, <laughs> I love that. The, the classic staples, everyday items, how can you just make it a little extra. And the glitz and glam trend does that. This is super easy to do with just like handbags. There are so many options. I found a really good Prada dupe from Macy's. I got it in two colors. I should, I'll pop a picture up, but I got it in two colors and it's just so easy, so fun. You can do accessories, you can do headbands, you can of course do sparkly shoes. There's so many options. Um, and then if you really wanna take it there, you can do like clothing pieces to just really up the ante. You could always do like necklaces, a choker, do, a, do whatever you're comfortable with, but this is a super fun way to just make every day a little extra. Next trend is going to be wide leg denim. And also, I didn't write this down, but I was just thinking about it um, before I started this video. Um, kind of like, a, I don't wanna say flare, but boot cut, maybe like more of an exaggerated boot cut. Think about everything, if you're around my age, think about <laughs> the things that you wore in high school, or think about the things just like early 2000s. Like the, it was very loose, it was very oversized wide leg jeans, but then it was also like boot cut jeans and that was like your dressy jean. All of those are what's in. Um, right now, like obviously people have been saying skinny jeans are out. You need skinny jeans, pants, leggings in the fall, winter, right? Cause you wanna take them into your boots, all that jazz. But as we get into spring, summer, we're really not gonna see that much and it's gonna be a lot of 90s style denim, very loose, oversized, um, ripped, you know, ripped distressed denim, straight or wide leg. And then if it is somewhat of a tailored pair of pants, it's gonna be more that boot cut. I hope they make, I'm popping up pictures, but that streamlined boot cut, it makes me think of like Victoria Beckham a few years back. She used to always wear like a blazer and like very tight pants that would go into like a really big boot cut. That's, that's what we're gonna be seeing. I personally love those because again, 
as a shorty, these make you look so tall. Same thing with Victoria Beckham. She's a short woman as well. And when she wears pants like that, she looks, her legs look so long and she looks so tall. So I love this trend. I like that it's giving us more options in denim. Um, of course, you know, the dad jean, the mom jean, all those are still in, you can still wear them. Skinny jeans, you can still wear that as well. But I like that this is just becoming more of a trend. So if you used to like this, it's kind of easily accessible. That's what I like most about trends. It's not about a lot of people wearing it, so now it's okay for you to wear it. When things are on trend, it's like you can find them. <laughs> you know, if you've always liked bootcut jeans, it's probably been kind of hard to find them and shop for them in just regular stores because people aren't selling them, unless it's like, you know, Levi's or a place that just sells all the jeans all the time. If you just walk in a regular store, like if you go in Zara, they probably don't have a ton of bootcut jeans all the time. They just have whatever is trending. So when things that you love come back into trend, it's just easy to shop for them. So that's why I love this one. Um, I have a few favorite pair of loose denim. My NM6 Margiela jeans with slits on the side. They are my most worn jeans in a very, very long time. They are pricey, but I think about cost per wear. Um, 10 out of 10, highly recommend. And my other favorite pair are from H&M, but they've been sold out forever. And they're the 90s boyfriend jean. But either anytime I wear those jeans, I, People cannot stop asking about them, but they're comfortable. Again, the, the loose jeans goes back to that quarantine life we've all been living. No one really wants to get into like a snug tight pair of jeans. So I find that either trousers, trousers are an option or the loose relaxed 90s style denim and you can just dress it up, but it gives your look more of a casual feel. Okay, next trend that we're gonna see everywhere in 2022, and that I think is gonna be a fun one to try, is gonna be feathers and fringe. Feathers have been in for a while, we've seen it on the sleeper sets, um, but we're gonna see it even more. I've seen it on a lot of like brands on Instagram that I follow, coming out with different like feathered items, like shirts with feathers on the end, mini skirts with feathers on the end, and then fringe is another thing that comes in and out of season. If you have a more of a Western style, um, you know, like Arizona kind of vibes, you probably always wear fringe. I personally like Western as well, and I always wear, wear fringe. But again, it's gonna be a lot more accessible now that it's on trend, so you'll probably see it a lot more places. I've seen it on like the backs of jackets and jackets, um, on boots. So this is gonna be a fun one, and it's they're very different, but kind of the same, right? They make your outfit feel extra and special, but very different style. So the feathers are gonna lean more glam, more glitzy and then the fringe is gonna lean more relaxed and casual but extra so i feel like i'm i'm, I'm a person that does both <laughs> just depends on the day of the week but you can choose whichever one you think is more your style and this is at every price point as well so of course i'll link uh, some of my favorites i'll link some dupes and give you lots of options in the description bar if you're ever looking for anything from a video that i talk about make sure you check the description box below and then the next trend is going to be cutouts and i know we talked about this in fall trends and it's going strong into 2022 um and it's just even more cutouts i know i i seem like i feel like everything is cut out but again i'm talking more about cutouts in a very wearable way um that's the trend that I'm seeing and what I think is easy to try and what I'm excited about. Less of overtly sexy cutouts and more of architectural, unique design detail cutouts. So that's what I think we'll see more of. Again, interesting shoulders, interesting necklines, cool back details, even like inter interesting like leg cutouts. Um, I'll pop up a picture of um, Pie Collective is a black owned brand that I absolutely love. They did a really unique like maxi dress, midi dress, and it had all these fun cutouts and nothing about it was overtly sexy or felt like hard to wear or, you know, just like too much, but it felt like art. Just think of it like art, like what makes something special? They should be adding uniqueness. They should be adding, they should be making you feel a little more elevated, a little more special. They don't have to take you out of your comfort zone. They don't have to, you don't have to feel like you're wearing something that you're not. You can just kind of like pick and choose little things from all of these trends that are wearable, but that's just kind of like up the ante a little bit when you just want to feel a little special, a little different, or just out of the norm of what you normally wear. I feel like all of these trends can do that for you. So. Those are my trends. <laughs> Those are my 2022 trends to try. Uh, but of course, let me know any other videos that you wanna see, anything you're interested in, and let me know what trends you're excited about in 2022. I think that's everything. Thanks for stopping by. See ya.